We've got a revealing look inside of one of Hollywood's biggest talent agencies and some of the people who helped shape A-list careers that we've all heard of. James Andrew Miller is the author of Powerhouse, the untold story of Hollywood's creative artist agency. Jim, good morning. Congrats on the book. Thanks for having me. So give me the elevator pitch because it's a Hollywood thing to do. If people have never heard of CAA and they don't know this agency, what makes this book exciting. That's why I did it. There's kind of a paradox of sorts, right? Uh, very few people outside of Hollywood know what CA is or those initials, and yet it follows us all day. I mean, they're part of our lives probably more so than any of us realize. From Game of Thrones to Star Wars to J.J. Watt on the field, you go into a Chipotle, CA does their marketing. I mean, you turn on the radio, Katy Perry's there, that's CA. I mean, so I just, I love the idea that there's this little iceberg there. People in Hollywood know it, but below the surface, there's a lot unknown. Speaking of Hollywood, a lot of people are buzzing about it. A lot of celebrities, bold face names, wondering if they're in the book, that kind of thing. Mm, yeah. Is it dishy? It's, it's dishy when it needs to be. It's not dishy just for the sake of dishiness, but I do think that there's a great story about what agents do, because agents really don't talk about themselves. They're supposed to talk about their clients. Right. So now we've kind of reversed it. So we have a lot of stars talking about their agents, and that's, that's kind of fun. There are some great stories in this book. I wanted to run yeah, through thanks. just a few of them. Sarah Jessica Parker, we learned that she really didn't want to do Sex in the City, and, and her agent kind of talked her into it. Right. So this is like, what do agents do? And she really <laughs> didn't want to do it. She had a great movie career. She was doing plays. She had tons of freedom. And her agent, Kevin Huvain, who she's been with for a long time, basically forced her to do it. And she talks a lot about that process they had. By the way, Matthew Broderick, her husband, didn't want to do Ferris Bueller's, which I don't want to live in a world where Matthew Broderick isn't Ferris Bueller. Thank God for that agent. Right. Thank God. I mean, that happens a lot. Cher apparently didn't want to do Moonstruck, for which she won an Academy Award and was actually tricked into taking it. What does the book tell us about that? Well, her agent, Ron Meyer, who's a legendary Hollywood person, I mean, he's really an amazing guy, and she did want to do it. She didn't want to go to the meeting, and he kind of tricked her into this meeting where she left, and by the time she left, she, she had already committed to the movie. And, she, you know, she said, he, he tricked me. There's no way I wanted to do the movie, and, you know, wound up with an Academy Award. You do kind of get a sense of what agents do, and uh, we talked to Dustin Hoffman, the movie Rain Man, of course, is so iconic, and we think of him playing the, the, the man who has autism. But it almost wasn't like that. It was actually the agent who had the, the idea, as I understand well, it. Well, Rain Man was just this unbelievable story because there were lots of incarnations, and Billy Murray was going to be in it for a while, and other pairings. And one of the agents at CA was so adamant about Tom Cruise and his career that, like, literally, they just pushed Tom into this movie. And, I mean, let's face it, Tom and Dustin don't exactly look like brothers. <laughs> no. They may be a little bit far apart in years, but it worked. It really worked. And Tom Cruise, I was, I was fascinated to learn that in Risky Business, the old underwear scene was not actually in the script. Got to give Tom credit. Yeah. He came to CA when he was 19. He's still there. The kid. He's, I know. He's an amazing guy. Wow. And so, of course, now we see it, and the rest is history. Again, the book is called Powerhouse. Jim Miller, thank you so much. Thanks it's nice for having to me. have you here.